Good morning, friends. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining me for this AM edition of Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola. I'm so happy to be here, and I'm so happy to see so many familiar faces in chat. Thank you, Brothers Murph. Thank you, Game Freak Geek Girl. Thank you, Vault Hunter Argus. Thank you, Mrs. Gav2020. That's my wife, Michelle. She's in the other room. I um, want to... Just wanted to do this impromptu stream because last night um, I got to play Hero Realms Digital with Jeremy Howard um, on a sponsored stream thanks to our friends Wise Wizard Games. And I enjoyed it so much and I have been enjoying it so much that I want to play it again. So I hope you all don't mind an extra bonus live stream. Figured we'll hang out a little bit. Um, I've actually got to take off in about um, about an hour and a half. So my, my heart out today is at 10 a.m. Uh, so I can get ready to go on to uh, take care of the rest of my business today. But until then, let's hang out and play Hero Realms uh, Digital. Um, let's see. What, what's everyone doing? What, what's uh, what's happening? Um, Vault Hunger Argus says, hello, Ruel. Feeling sheepy. Um, you know, I'm doing okay. Uh, it's not sheepy time uh, just yet. Um, but... It, it was a little late last night for me. Um, after I uh, hung out with Jeremy, I just, you know, stayed up, uh, did some more work. I'm trying to get back into the flow of things. Um, as some of you may know, uh, Michelle and I were actually, we just got back from Nashville uh, the other day. And it's weird. We got home Wednesday, but I felt like yesterday was just, you know, total like getting just like we slept in or tried to sleep in and getting, you know, back in the uh, regular, you know, back to normal life again. Um, so I was really thankful that Jeremy was able to pop in uh, sort of like at the last minute um, to uh, hang out with me. Uh, so thanks again, Jeremy, if you're out there. Um, want to shout out uh, Game Freak Geek Girl. Now, we were, she was, she was awesome. Monique, I really want to pr uh, thank you for offering the last second to come in and play uh, Hero Realms with me, and I really appreciate it. I'm going to solo it this time, and, and I messaged you earlier. Um, I'm going to solo it now, and then we're going to try to get a game on hopefully tomorrow um, morning. Um, we're, we're figuring out the details of that, but I, I think we're going to play this again. I, it's Folks, it's on Kickstarter right now. I'm going to drop it in uh, the link right there in chat. If you haven't already, please check it out. It's been fully funded, over hundred grand. Um, it's it's going to be a hit. I love Star Realms uh, Digital and Analog. I love Hero Realms Digital and Analog now as well. Um, I do have a beta um, a, a copy of this. We're going to go through and play it online here so you can check it out. So things aren't um, totally 100% yet, but they're getting there. I mean, it looks fantastic. Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy and I had some weird thing going on um, with during our game where we... I don't know if we accidentally started two games at once or something, but we had to keep going back and forth. It, it was, it, it was fine. Um, but I'm gonna see if the solo game. Look, actually, I should probably get this going right now while um, I'm chatting with y'all. Um, I want to shout out the brothers Murph. They were here in the chat earlier. Um, they are launching their Kickstarter real soon, um, as in like tomorrow. So, folks, if you haven't already, uh, go to. Uh, I'll shout out the. Yeah, there it is, brothers Murph. I'm gonna shout them out there. Follow. I mean, if you're not following them, what, what what is going on? If you're not following them, I don't know what what to say. You, you need to be following the Brothers Murph. Uh, they are going to be launching their Kickstarter for season five of uh, their show, and also building a new studio uh, since Mike has moved into a new place. It's going to be amazing. And uh, yes, um, Game Freak Geek Girl says I'm aiming for the intern level pledge. Um, uh, Daryl Jurgen, no worries. I wish I had the money for this, but my income's. No worries. Again, you know, we're, this is, um, a luxury hobby, right? When you, if, if, and when you have the money, you know, don't, don't, don't go into debt over this stuff, folks. I mean, be, be smart as someone who's had credit issues back in the past. I mean, don't, don't spend any money you don't have, you know, borrow friends, copies of games or, you know, hang out. And there's a lot of free games online too. Let's, let's not get ourselves in trouble financially, please. Um, let's see. AJO, thank you for writing, Alana. I've got to show this. I this is one of the things I wanted to do. M from the Incorrigible <laughs> Crew, she made this amazing pug meeple. Look at this pug meeple pillow. This is the best. I want to thank M for um, doing this. Uh, Emily, she's she did this. Uh, she made a uh, meeple pillow. It was a Batman one that I saw first. It was awesome. I think Book of Nerds got it. And then she made one um, based on a panda, just like Amanda Panda. And I just jokingly um, uh, said, hey, you know, Bruno wants to know when there's going to be a pug one. And I put a post picture of Bruno. And like a week later, she had created this. I was like, what? And so this is the Bruno pug meeple pillow. 
and it also has a curly tail. <laughs> it's just like, it's so awesome. So shout out to uh, M for doing this. Thank you so much, Emily. Uh, this is, yeah, she's so good. I sleep with her. Oh, okay, cool. Um, she was on Etsy. Critical Hit Design. Thank you for uh, sharing that. Yeah, we, we love this. I mean, I, you know, I've always wanted a meeple pillow and then the one that's like a pug. I mean, best of both worlds right there. So shout out. I, I love the curly tail. That was such a cool touch right there. Curly tail because pugs have curly tail. Bruno is in the other room sleeping. She also, through the kindness of her heart, she gave us a little uh, bonus. It's like a little meeple. I, I don't have it here, obviously, but it's a little meeple like this big as a squeaky toy. So like the second I took that out, Bruno was all over it. He... He doesn't play with it all the time, but every now and then between his naps, he'll just wake up and like drag it around somewhere like, ah, you know, ah, like that. Um, what is that? I, I guess he just sort of chews on it. Uh, but yeah, we, we love the, uh, the meeple pillow. Um, I'll put it over here for now. I know it's early folks, but, um, what are y'all eating and drinking? We always talk about stream snacks here on the stream. Um, I've got for breakfast, I'm doing a chocolate smoothie. Uh, cafe so i've got a blueberry bliss this is um what is it blueberries strawberries and banana I'm trying to i'm trying to detox and get get like some fruits and vegetables into my system because in nashville i pretty much lived on a barbecue diet i mean it was barbecue ribs barbecue brisket barbecue um links just yeah it was delicious but i know it's not it wasn't that healthy so i'm trying to get back into the health kick right now I actually was on treadmill last night before i streamed so yeah slowly but surely friends oh argus you've got a tropical smoothie nice I, um yesterday i did the um island green detox um but this blueberry bliss definitely tastes better but i, I love the ingredients of the um island green detox it's got like kale it's got um uh, spinach and a ginger like all this really cool stuff it's not it's a little tart but um i do like the blueberry bliss once in a while uh for the emily rose thank you for the follow thank you so much um we got a new follower folks so anytime we get a new follower we have we do analog alerts here and this is felicia the follow fish she swims around says hello to new followers and then she swims away and all of us here in the studio which is just me and all of y'all in chat we all say Bye, Felicia. Thanks for the follow, Emily. Much appreciated. J Fool's guards in the house. Good morning, J Fool. Thank you for hanging with me. Uh, yeah, the pig meeple pillow is so adorable. Have a, wait, we love you know. I'm gonna bust it out again. I'm. I just like to hug it. It's it's like Bruno. It's very huggable. Um, Bruno Bruno likes hugs, but he likes pats. He loves pats. Actually, Bruno, his favorite thing, the belly rub. He 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 can he can sit there all day if you want a belly rub, um, Bruno. But yeah, we, the curly tail, I cannot get over it. Um, let's see, we've got, I'm catch up on comments here. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, Brothers Mark, love all our stuff. Yeah, is this the new Bits Bear? It is not the new Bits Bear. Well, we may have to come up with a new thing though, uh, Game Freak Geek Girl. Uh, Game Freak Geek Girl's having orange juice, good. I don't, you know, I've got some orange juice in the fridge. I need to finish that off. Thanks for the bye, Felicia's. Uh, Emily, you can't stay, unfortunately. Have a, thank you, Emily, for stopping by, and thank you for the wonderful pug meeple pillow. Okay. Let's play some... Well, actually, uh, what happened to Benny? Sask Queen, Benny's still here. Um, Y'all spend bits, and Benny... Will, yeah, he, he Benny's sleeping right now. You know what's funny? I wonder if Benny will become enemies with the um, pug meeple pillow. What well, well, was... I mean, so far, I mean, so far they're friends, right? We'll, we'll see what happens. I, I love that somehow this stream has become a puppet show. <laughs> uh, Tate, good morning. Thank you for joining us, Tate. Yeah, Benny's still here. Um, we are going to be playing Hero Realms in just a second. I do want to shout out, uh, first of all, if you're not already, please join us in Discord. We have a lot of fun. There. There's a lot of cool people. We talk about board games, talk about food, of course. And um, we also share pictures of our fur babies as well. Um, well, uncle, you did just say the Bruno pill was your new, fa oh, don't get me started. Yeah. The, Br the real Bruno will always be my favorite, but that, this, this thing is pretty awesome. I, I mean, it's handcrafted with care and love by, uh, from Emily, right? Uh, Fidelia 84. Yeah. They are frenemies. That, that's great. That, that's probably the way they, they should be. Unlike the real Bruno and the real, uh, well, not the real, <laughs> unlike the real Bruno and uh, Benny the Bit Square, they, they, they like to uh, butt heads, or actually Bruno just likes to chew on him. Um, 
what else is new, folks? Uh, we just got back from uh, Nashville. I, I'm going to post some pictures on my Facebook page, and I'm going to share them in Discord, in the Discord as well. Of, I mean, I shared, like, I think some food pictures, but some of the sites and just, oh, it's such a cool town. Um, I was very, very uh, surprised. Um, I, I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, but, oh, uh, Monique has redeemed a Bruno treat. Thank you, Monique. Uh, let's give Bruno a treat. Hey, right there. Good boy, Bruno. <laughs> um, yeah, Nashville was such a cool city. Uh, it was a really, our ho my host, um, IV Games, they were really, they, you know, I was asking what, what it's like out there, and they were saying it's a very much a foodie town, and it lived up to the hype and then some. It was a very cool foodie town. Obviously, a lot of barbecue and stuff, but for the first time, Michelle and I had like a real southern breakfast. And actually, I'm wearing the, I wore this shirt last night. I didn't wear it to sleep, but I, I woke up and I was like, I got to wear it again. You know, it's a brand new shirt, right? Uh, Monel's, um, the breakfast they served was amazing. It was family style where you sit down and you can be seated next to strangers, but it's a big table. And you just sit down, there's no menu. You just show up, sit down, or they seat you. And then they bring out a ton of food and you just take, put it on your plate, pass it on like a family meal. Michelle and I went sort of like a funky time. It was like right after, the, I guess, the initial breakfast rush and before the next one. So we were seated at a table and we we just sat by ourselves. And it was like, oh, that's a bummer. We don't get to do the real experience. But they brought so much food out. Fry, some of the best fried chicken I've ever had. Uh some of the best cheese grits I've ever had. Um, they also brought out fried apples, um, pancakes, sausage, bacon, scrambled eggs, uh, biscuits, cinnamon rolls. <laughs> um, oh, uh, country ham. Oh, it was crazy. It also had sweetened tea, unsweetened tea, coffee, decaf, water. They had hot sauces, a couple of different hot sauces, uh, hot peppers. I, it was uh, awesome I, I like my mouth is still watering over that it was one of my favorite uh, meals yeah i'm getting hungry i'm i'm totally just getting hungry thinking about it again i'm just on the uh, smoothie right now the total opposite of that breakfast but uh, michelle and i loved it um service was great um and what was neat was you know after or before and after like with our lift driver um they asked you know they find out where we're going we're like oh we're going to a monel so like, oh one of my favorites so i was like okay cool then we took a tour afterwards. We went on like this little um, touristy, a touristy tour downtown, and um, you know, talking to our tour guide. And we're, we're you know, they're just making small talk. And we told um, our tour guide Leonard, we're like, "Hey, yeah, we just got back from Manel's," and Leonard's like, right off the bat, "Oh, love Manel's." So it was nice to know that the locals uh, were into it as well. Um, I can see why. It's just amazing. I'm sorry, Game Freak Geek Girl. Yeah, I may want to mute um, while while I'm talking food. Um, Paladin of Redemption, evening. Thank you for joining us. Good to see you on here. Um, we are just talking about food. We're going to be playing um, Hero Realms uh, Digital. It's a deck building game from Wise Wizard Games. Uh, I'll be playing that real soon here. Um, but just sort of recounting the things that um, I, I just got back from Nashville and... Um, First time there, first time anywhere in that area, um, south or almost like mid mid south, I guess. And one fun fact, I didn't know this. There's two time zones in Tennessee. You go towards like Knoxville, I think it is. It's eastern, but where we were in Nashville, it was central, and that just that played havoc with me for the first couple of days. Like I actually, I was do, I was while on while I was there after I'd done work for IB Games, I was I, I actually. Like I timed it a little weird where I was going to be doing a panel on colorblind uh, gamers or, or uh, making your games colorblind friendly. Um, if y'all don't know, I, I have red green colorblindness and I'm a big, big advocate for making games uh, colorblind friendly. And um, the tabletop mentorship program reached out to me um, last month, said, hey, would you like to do a panel on it? I was like, oh, of course, I would love to. Um, but I got my dates mixed up, unfortunately, and I forgot that I was going to be in um, Knox or I mean in uh, Tennessee, uh, Knoxville, while I was supposed to do this panel. So I jump on, you know, I was like panicking. I, I, I was like, okay, that, I can do this. I was in my hotel room, and the thing that made me panic was I forgot that it wasn't Eastern time. I had converted. I went through this whole weird process of converting Eastern to Pacific, back to Central. 
when all I had to do is I was in central time. All I had to do was like bump up an hour to eastern time, which the, the schedule had put me down for. Anyways, long story short, uh, the, uh, the panel went well. Uh, shout out to Nathan for being an excellent uh, co-host. Um, uh, they had just, you know, sort of introduced me and I just sort of went on my little spiel. I had my, you know, PowerPoint slides and everything. Um, had some really cool people in chat, uh, ask about the process of how we can make games colorblind friendly. It's on YouTube now. Just ch check it out on the uh, tabletop, tabletop mentorship program. Speaking of YouTube, please check out good looking Kickstarters. Beck and I got back together again. Uh, the last couple of episodes we did solo. Um, but we really miss the format of us having um, having our you know usual banter. Um, I mean, Becca's a genius. I, you know, I just show up and she like makes me laugh. She's so smart and so witty. We have a new episode there, episode twelve. Got some great games on Kickstarter. We did not talk about this one, but this one is a short Kickstarter. is available now. Um, they got a, less than a week, so please check out Hero Realms Digital. Check out good looking Kickstarters. We've got a lot. Of, we had a lot of fun with this episode, which we always do. Speaking of Becca, she is one of the people that was in Nashville along with, you'll see the videos next month. It was just, oh, it was, I was so grateful and honored to be uh, invited to this. It was Becca Scott, um, Monique and Naveen from Before You Play, uh, Jeremy Howard from Man vs. Meeple, uh, Alex from um, Board Game Co., uh, Jesse from Quackalope, and oh, who am I missing? I know, let me see, Jesse, Alex, Mark Street from The Dice Tower. Uh, Becca, Monique, Naveen, Jeremy, myself. Yeah, that was eight of us. So that's it right there. And then also, also um, the team from Ivy Games, Austin, Zach, and Sam. There And then oh, the whole crew was fantastic. And they built a, a studio. Um, just uh, such a great experience. I can't wait for you all to see the videos. So we did videos for their new game, Myth Mythic Mischief. Uh, which will be out on Kickstarter next month, but we also did some other videos as, uh, too, which you'll see next month. Uh, speaking of GLK, what year was it that you became a vampire? <laughs> well, yeah, you know what's funny, Argus. So I did this. We had this bit on the latest GLK, uh, Good Looking Kickstarters. Um, please check it out. We did this little bit where I was like joking about how old I am, so I'm actually a, like a undead vampire. But um, unfortunately, a lot of it got left on the, the editing uh, floor. I had this other bit where I was going to go into how I was like a, a moonshine uh, moonshiner, you know, back in uh, Prohibition. It was all this wacky stuff. We left it on it. Probably best that it, le it was on the editing floor. Because we, we typically take like... I, we we take a, we we do a lot of different takes and we we sort of uh, Beck and I sort of ramble and just sort of you know riff, riff on each other and stuff and then the editing team who are remarkable they they bring it down to about a ten minute um, episode so a lot of it le was left on the cutting room floor but uh, we had fun with it um, as far as how uh, what year was I born I, I will I will say um, whatever year uh, the vampire Lestat was born how's that a little. Uh, um, uh, what's it? Anne Rice reference for you. Uh, <laughs> Jay Fool's Guard Tabletop Mentorship Program is so good. Yes, I agree 100%. Um, I was, again, when they reached out, I wasn't expecting, I was very honored that they would reach out to me and talk about a, a subject that's very, you know, uh, true to my heart and uh, dear to me. So, um, Anne Rice, thank you. Yes. I probably should type while eating clearly more typos. <laughs> okay. Let's get to the game, folks. Uh, I hope I got this set up right. Um, Y'all keep chatting. Let me know what you're uh, eating or drinking. Always appreciate that. And um, do I go over here? Okay. Y'all can still hear me, right? But y'all can't see the screen. Why not? Uh, oh, there. Hey, it worked. Can y'all hear the... Is there music? I was trying to get the music, too. I don't know if that's going to work. Because uh, audio capture, if I oh maybe if I do this, y'all can hear the music. If I can get an audio check from y'all, I just switched it over. Yay! That custard pie and chocolate pie from the South Korean Universal Yum. But yes, Ar oh that's right, Argus. I hope you like that. Our, that was our favorite box, Universal Yums. Uh, music good. Thank you, friends. Yeah, that custard, the choco pie, yeah, good stuff. Oh, that was our favorite box so far, the South Korean. Was it? Yeah, South Korean was definitely one of the top three. Okay, I'm just going to play against the AI. Uh, last night, um, Jeremy Howard crushed me. 
crushed me. And you know what? I should know better. Um, folks, I'm going to switch back to this view. It's important. When you play a game, be careful of, uh, you, if you're playing against someone that actually is in the game. <laughs> Jeremy has a character that was inspired him. I mean, it looks exactly like him. It didn't show up last in last night's game, but we did get through uh, Mandy Hutchinson's character. Uh, so I knew I was in trouble. Jeremy knew what he was doing. He really built up. I think he was the fighter. Yeah, he was the fighter. And um, what's great about this game, and which I, what I really love about it, you'll see all the different characters. They each have different starting decks that are tailored toward them. So last night I was the wizard, and Jeremy was the fighter. I'm going to start, um, you know, I'm going to try the cleric. I have no idea what the cleric is. Uh, we'll have the AI be the wizard, okay? And we'll we'll go with medium, and start. Classic smiley, no worries. I'm sorry. No, thank you for joining me today. Audio's good. Music might be touched on the high side compared to my voice. I will, thank you. I will knock down the music just a little bit. Hopefully that's all right. But again, thank you all for joining me. Here is the starting deck. Like any, if you're not familiar with deck builders, uh, we you start with a standard deck of cards, and you're building your deck uh, through the gameplay. You play. There's two different uh, things that you want to um, keep track of: currency, uh, which is gold in this uh, case, and also combat, which are the the little ones here. Pop this up. That's combat there. So you're trying to the AI. We each start with 50 health. I actually start with 55 because I am a cleric, a healer, right? Um, so I'm gonna just play all cards here. This is a champion, so those champions stay there. It's got a guard of one, so it will stay there until the AI hits me for one. Then they um, take that out, and then they can attack me. So I've got two here. Um, I'm let's see. I did this tide priest last night, um, so I can get one gold, or I can heal for each champion I have in play. That one didn't do me much good last night. Uh, we're gonna go with influence. I want three money. And then at any time, I can trash it for three combat. So I'll just double click on that. goes in my deck. And then the attack, you can either go up here and double click on the attack, or I'm just going to hit the attack button. Pow. And then I end my turn. And it's the AI's turn right now. Let's see what they do. They play their cards. Magic five, yes. Each hero start deck is different, yes. Okay. So let's just take a look at what we got here. We got prayer beads. Ooh, two money or five. Um, so this is healing, so that's five health. If you have two or more champions, play game both. That's pretty cool. We have the follower. So there's a champion. We'll put um, the follower into play. Got my spiked mace. Don't want to mess around with that thing. I'll just play them off. Check that out. Oh, and then the prayer beads I'll play. So now I have a choice. Do I get two or five? I want money. So we're, we're trying to build our deck right now. Uh, so I've got a total of four. I can get that Tithe Priest. That's going to be a champion, so we'll, that'll help me out. Uh, I can do another Influence, or I can do a Fire Gem. This is always going to be available on the left side here. If you played Star Realms, this is very similar to an Explorer card. Uh, you get two money when it comes in. Uh, you play it. You may trash it to get three combat. But you know what? I'm going to get the Influence. I've, I have one Influence. I'm going to pair it up so we can start buying some bigger cards. Now I do have three attack. I can either attack my opponent right off the bat or I can take out the cat familiar. Uh, you'll notice here this two shield, because it's a lighter shield, uh, it doesn't mean it's you don't have to attack it. You can attack the opponent. But I like to get it off the board just so they don't get the benefit. I have one attack left. I'll use it here and end my turn. Panda says, uh, she couldn't stop playing the game after my stream. Yeah, right, Amanda? I was like, I know, last night after Jeremy's, I, I had to stop because I had to eat my um, late dinner. But the first thing I thought of this morning is like, oh, I really want to play it again. And, you know, I was like, well, why not stream it? We can just hang out with everyone. So I wasn't sure if anyone's streaming this morning. So, um, yeah, I, I love this game. I love the, I mean, I don't know if y'all saw. I legit love this game. Um, the, this is the the big box that I have here. Um, I haven't started the campaign yet. Jeremy says it's really good. So based on Jeremy's word, I need to start playing that campaign. Uh, let's get back to you. So I've got two attack and six money. Ooh, I can get this. The champion. And you'll notice here, you, you notice on each card it has a different factions. I may, let me see. Kron the Berserker. 
This one gives me five, and if I have another um, wild, uh, this symbol, I believe it's wi the wild faction, I can draw a card. I'm always a big fan of drawing cards. But look at this, I like this because it gives me the six guards, so it's gonna be that, that much tougher to hit me. Oh. Let's try to draw some cards. We're gonna get that one. Um, now I could trash this one for three, but I'm gonna wait at least another turn. I'll, let me do an attack, and I'll end my turn there. Bald Hunger Art is playing Cthulhu rounds while watching this. Nice. Yeah, the physical. Oh, I love it. Yes, the game is that good. Is it agreed? Classic Smiley. It's so good. Uh, Jay Fool says, seems like there are more heroes in this game than bases and star rooms. Yeah. I, I believe that is the case. I, I don't know the actual numbers. To me, it feels like it. Now, the difference between these... Now, I do love Star Realms because it's I'm a sci-fi nerd. I like both of these games. I uh, they I have both in my collection. And actually, I probably have Star Realms in the big box here. Um, I think Hero Realms has more cool combos that you can do. It's a little more, uh, more in-depth uh, as it is. But Star Realms um, is, is a really classic... I think deck building game. I love playing that one with my nephew. I, I actually miss playing this with my nephew. It's been a while. Um, let me see. Do this. Um, how, how am I doing on health? 43. I'm fine on health. So I'm going to need money. I'm going to grab some more money here. So I've got seven now. I can smash and grab. Uh, here's another champion. Uh, with seven. You know, I want to go big. Let's get. Ooh, this one though. I get two combat. Oh, man. You know, we're going big. We're getting this one here. Spent all our money. Um, oh, I could have gone here. Darn it. I forgot about this. I could have gotten money. I could have gotten eight. I could have gotten the Storm Giant. Ooh, can I undo? Is there an undo? Nope. Boo earns. So there's nothing for one, so I might as well just take uh, one heal. Ah. Uh, okay. So I had my turn there. Yeah, Tana also loves Star Wars save. see what we got here. Follower. Influence. Oh, I can just press, press play all. Okay, we're going to attack. I want to get rid of the cat familiar, and then we'll attack the AI there. Um, I've got five to spend. I can get Kristoff, which gives me two heal. Oh, this one gets me two money, though. And I get to draw a card. Oh, this is... I'm getting this. So this is one of the action cards. Uh, two, three, and four. You got a bunch of stuff for that, so I'm going to get that there. And, you know, since I do that, I am going to get rid of this influence, so I'm going to... I really want to try to thin out my deck. So we'll use the attack there. Uh, J Fool says... Oh, I got a discarded card, so let me discard the gold. Um... Jeffles of Me Too, my copy got totally drenched in a rain shower. Not, oh no. So might get Hero. Definitely. I, I'm sorry to hear about your copy uh, getting drenched in rain, but Hero Realms, highly recommend it. Okay, so let's see. Here's Kron the Berserker. Gives me five hits. Follower. Uh, influence. So I got three there. I can get to five here if I use my prayer beads. But check this out. I have two more champions to play. I got two money and I got five heal. So I love that card. Uh, so we're going to get Kristoff in here. Oh, wait. Oh, we got to get. Oh, there it is, folks. There's Jeremy. I was hoping this one would show up last night. There's Jeremy Howard, man at arms. Uh, champion, two hits plus one hit for each other guard you have in play. I actually want the Kristoff card, but you know what? It's Jeremy. We got to put him in the deck. And then, oh, and then I'll put a recruit as well. So we got Jeremy in the deck, and we've done our hits. Hey, Slackfish, how's it going? Uh, Magus, thanks for joining us. Um, it is, this is a beta version right now. Um, if you go to the link there, uh, Magus, um, uh, Magus Mondruk, uh, Hero Realms Digital is now on Kickstarter. It's got less than a week to go. It's been fully funded. Click on the link there to if you want more information and possibly back it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to play my follower. Got my... Is this my assassin? Yeah. Gets me a bunch of hits. 
So yeah, as you can see, I'm really starting to ramp up things here. So I got 10 attack. Um, I'll take a spark for one. Uh, fire gem. Yeah, what the heck. And then you'll see this. Uh, you also have your um, special abilities. For, because I'm a cleric, I can use this card. Put a champion with cost two or less from your discard pile into play. Use this ability only a champion that was stunned since your last turn. Uh, this one, a blessed target gains three uh, health. That player's champions gain one um, uh, shield until the end of the turn. So I haven't used those yet. Um, so I'm going to end my turn there. So I'm still doing relatively okay on health. So. Okay, got a discard so you know the gold's going. All right. Put a champion with a cost zero from your discard pile. What do I have in my discard pile? I have... I have a guard. Is Jeremy in play? I, the man-at-arms, is he in play? Well, I'll put this one here. Prayer Bee's gonna get me both, because I have two champions. Recruit. Influence. There, I want now I want the uh, Storm Giant. There hasn't been any cards that let me trash cards yet. Okay, so this is, uh, we'll heal. And we're gonna trash this one. So we have just enough to get rid of his, their champion, with two left over to hit, and turn. Have y'all played Star Realms, uh, the digital? I, I love that implementation. I think this one's just as good, if not better. Just because I, I love the game. Oh, here's the command, so this can give me a lot of stuff. Yay, draw a card. Because, um, oh, there's Jeremy. Cool, cool, cool. So, Man at Arms, uh, two hits plus one hit for each other guard you have in play. Unfortunately, the guards are back in the deck. I, I had them in, I could have used, wait, could I use this? Target gains three, that player's... Nah, I don't need that. Okay. So we've got two things here. So I'm going to... Hopefully Jeremy will help me out. Get some hits there. I'm up to seven. I need one more. Uh, for each him, I'll get a money. We've got six money. We'll take a smash and grab. Or I could get... Yeah, I'll do Smash Grab. And then let's see. We want to hit one of these. Either the Street Thug or the Cult Priest. Um, get the Cult Priest out of there. I have three uh, three hits left, so I'm going to have to pl place it on the AI. Because I don't have enough to take out there. That's it. Love Meeples. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate the resubscription, friend. I also want to shout out... Um, um, Brain in a Jar, she also resubbed last night, which I totally missed on, on the stream last night. But Brain in a Jar, lo the Love Meeples, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate the support. Um, okay, my turn. So they've got two champions up there now. And um, hey, Dutch Yoda, thanks for joining us. Dutch Yoda, congrats again on funding your Kickstarter. I think that's so great that you uh, created this really cool uh, Roll and Write game. I cannot wait to play it. Here's my prayer bees. Those prayer bees are nice. I, I love getting... Look at how much I've healed up to 58. That's awesome. Uh, I may stun a champion. We're going to stun this one. Select Street Thug. Bye-bye. And then two more there. So then I have the five attack. I can get rid of the cat familiar. Attack there. Got four bucks. Uh, I want one of those cult priests. Or, wait, so you may draw... Then discard a card. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm always a fan of drawing cards. Uh, we'll get a fire gem. What the heck? Now this one... Do I have... Oh, Jeremy's not in play. I love the fact that we're calling him Jeremy, not um, the Master of Arms. Okay, AI's down to 16. We got some hits on this. Yeah. Okay, let's play Grack. Is it Grack or Drack? Draw and discard a card. We're, we're doing that. Six. Okay, discard the gold. Got a follower. There 
Raiders, the Berserker, Grodd, Recruit. Got a bunch of health, um, a bunch of heal, one per champion, so those three. Then the Fire Gem. We're going to play the Fire Gem and then trash it for some attack. So, attack that, attack that. Got four left. Hey, Dark Energy. Yeah, we're well on our way to winning, folks. Uh, let's see. Put a champion we call from our discard pile. Do I have a champion in my discard pile? Two or less? Well, there's uh, the Man at Arms. Um, that's not a... Oh, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. Here. Um, okay. Just so y'all can see how we do it. So, put a champion will cost two or less. So, we'll use that. Then, resurrect a champion. We're going to do the... Can't do that one. Oh, this is the only one that's... Oh no, am I a select follower? Oh, that's the only one I can do is the follower. The other ones aren't available. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna select the follower. I love the graphics, look at that. Whoop. And so I got a free attack. So I got all, a bunch of champions there ready to go. Whoops, unused abilities. Oh, I forgot about this. I have, I may draw a card. And then this one, draw a discard card. So cool. Uh, so we got six attack left. We're gonna discard this one, this prayer beads. Play this. We may have enough. Oh, one short. Thought I was gonna have enough. Okay. So we pretty much have this game wrapped up, folks. We're gonna play another game after this because I got some time. Thank you again for hanging out with us, folks. Uh, hi, Kestrel. I just saw your name. Thank you for joining us, Kestrel. It's been a while. I haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. Playing some Hero Realms right now from Wise Wizard Games. We're going to finish off the AI right now. Let's uh, go through all the motions here. I'm going to draw and discard a card. Discard one of those golds. Uh, there's Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. The Man at Arms. So I'm going to get two hits plus one hit for each other guard I have to play. Do I have any of the guards? I don't think I do. Uh, let's draw and discard. Discard a gold. Okay, so I stunned that champion. Hey, I'm going to draw another card. I love drawing cards. Oh, it's just a gold. Oh, well. Uh, do the mace. Uh, let's use this power. Target gains three. That player's champion gain one. We're going to use it. Use it or lose it. Look at that health. 66 health. And then Jeremy, the man in arms, going to hook us up. Play my final gold. Look at that attack, folks. We're going to crush. Boom. Victory. Do, 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 do. And there it is, friends. I have won. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Plumpy Thimble's in the house. Thanks for redeeming some Bruno points. Uh, Plumpy Thimble is a Bruno fan. We just played Hero Realms Digital, friends. Thanks to our um, sponsors, Wise Wizard Games. Um, I love this game. There's, uh, like Amanda was just saying, she had played it recently and she couldn't stop playing it after she streamed it. I'm pretty much in the same boat. Um, I'm gonna play another game because I got a little time. I've got some work. To, I, I'm actually gonna um, got to take off um, by 10:30, but I'm gonna shut down here at 10. I've got a little more time left. So thank you, Argus, for reminding me to hydrate, folks. If you're at home or wherever you are, work, whatever, please take some time to hydrate. Stay hydrated out there. I'm gonna. I've got my blueberry bliss um, smoothie. Yeah, James, it's a quick game. Uh, we are gonna go. Um, is there an achievement for finishing with a bunch of health? That's a great question, Slackfish. I think there is. Uh, let me go back to the game itself. So, again, this is a beta version, so it may be there. It's just not... Um, yeah, as you can see here, the menu, it's still got the, um, you know, just random text. Um, let's see. So, I've won. Play versus... Uh, there's a pit fight mode. There's a pit fight arcade. Settings... Uh, this is just for the um, um, volume of video and stuff. So yesterday I played uh, Jeremy. You just play online. You can play with your friends. This is the game that um, he won. And we had this other thing. This is weird. We had I don't know if we had two games going on. It was just sort of wacky. Um, but I'm going to play against the AI. 
We'll go hard. So I'm gonna stay with the cleric since that's what I did last time, uh, and we'll see if I leveled up or whatever. Um, we'll do. We'll just pick random for them. And oh, classic. Uh, no, we don't have achievement any kind at this point. Got it. Thank you, classic smiley. And I, I'm assuming classic smiley is uh, part of the development team. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, do you level each level up each hero separately? Yes. Okay. Cool. Good to know. So we're gonna try the hard mode. I'll do a random hero. Uh, for the AI, we're gonna go with the still with the cleric. Okay, got my spiked mace. Uh, smack him in the face real quick. Smack him in the face with a mace. Uh, intimidation. Hey, we'll take that. Um, five hits and two money win. So if you're just joining us, folks, if you see these symbols here. This is the faction um, of that particular character or that action. And if you have a matching one when you played it, then you'll get the thing on the bottom as well. Ew, this was a scary one. Look at that. Oh, Joel with uh, WWG. Thank you, Joel. No worries. And thank you for joining us. Okay, what kind of money do I, I want five. So... We had, and we can, you can look in your discard pile here. I have that Intimidation, and so I'm gonna get uh, power off the um, Enforcer with that Intimidation. Okay, and I've got one attack. I'll just hit that for the automatic and end my turn. Let's see what the AI does. All right, all right. There's that. A couple of champions out. Um, this one. So again, the prayer, I really like these prayer beads. I get both of these, uh, two money and five heal when um, I have two champions in play, so that's great. I'll be able to attack this one, get them off the board. Um, hmm. War Mage, three or, health, or four health. Again, you can always pick up fire gems, but I'm gonna take the War Mage. So you'll notice here I've got six uh, in my, they need to hit for at least six to get these champions on board and so they didn't so I can, I'm protected by all these. I've got five attack, we'll smack right there. Got four money, uh, let's do this, another champion in my turn. Yeah. Oh, they got five, okay, so they're able to take my champion off. Hey, let's play that Intimidation now. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I've got four. I'm gonna, let, let's go heavy on the blue ones. On Bribe, I'll get Bribe. Let's see if we can match them up. Attack. So I gotta discard a card. Get rid of the gold, whoops. Champion, champion, and prayer beads. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So I could target games three. Up there. Yeah. That. So I only have one hit, unfortunately, so I cannot get rid of their shield bearer. But I think I like Varric. Put a champion for my discard pile on the top of my deck. Or I can do the Elven Curses with an Elven Gift. So I like this because I get a lot of hits. So three, and then I can combo it with this one, hopefully two. I'll end my turn there. So they have to hit this one for at least one. And oh, they got a lot of hits, so they're going to take out both. Boo earns. Okay, we got some champions here. Mace. Um, let's see, I can take this one out for three. Do I take the heal or do I take the damage? Um, you know, what, I'm gonna take the heal. I want more, more help. We'll attack this one, and I've got two bucks to spend a tide priest uh, or a death cultist. Uh, let's go with the death cultist this time. Wow, they're generating a lot of, a lot of combat. Oh my gosh. Discard of gold. Right, so we'll do this and the bribe. We got, we're heavy on the blues, folks. 
So this one here, you may acquire an action to the top of my deck. Put the next action. Oh, there's no actions. Oh, well, let's see. Is this an action? No, of course it is. So I can take that, acquire that on top of my deck. Now this one, I'm going to... Oh, I've got to draw and discard. Darn it. So if I draw it, I'm going to have to discard it anyways. Boo earns. So I'm just going to pass on that. But I will get this one, this champion here. Uh, this, I could put a champion across and put a discard. Um, I'll attack and then end my turn. Oh, unused abilities? What was oh, this one. Shoot, I can totally draw a card. Yeah, there's my Elven Curse. Yay. There. So that generated a ton of hits right there. Uh, six, the, uh, and it caused my opponent to discard a card, and then get three more there. Boom! That's what I wanted. Yeah, that's how I played it all, all along, right, folks? Hey, there's Jeremy again. Gotta get Jeremy. I haven't seen uh, Mandy yet. Uh, we, we had her last, last night, so... Here, oh, I don't have okay. Prayer beads, I'm gonna have to choose one or the other. It's either heal or two bucks. Let me play these first. Got three bucks. If I get two, it's not gonna help me get any. Well, I'm gonna get Jeremy regardless. That's just that's just facts. I'm gonna take the heal, okay. And with six, I can go three here and three here. That would be it for my attacks. Argus, thank you for uh, stopping by, friend. We'll see you later. See you in Discord. Have a great day at work. Okay, I'm down 30. Discard my gold. And then, uh, let's see. Forcer. Got a couple of... Oh, okay. Here's what I want. I want to combo. So there's Intimidation. Here's the... You may draw. And then discard a card. Okay. So I'm going to use this one here. Draw a card. Then I'm going to use this to draw a card and discard. I have that gold, so don't need that. And I'll play the Elven Curse. That's going to get me a lot of hits because it combos, right? It's got the um, 6-3 right there. And then we're going to bring out the Spike Mace. That was a good round for me for attacks. So, again, I didn't have to attack the champion. I could have gone straight there, but I like to get those champions off, off the board. Um, Tide Priest, hey. Oh, this one I could... Ooh, what do I have in my discard? I could bring back... Oh, it's just gold. Never mind. So... So that one, I don't need that. Uh, one for each, you know, I'll get a priest. And hey, Intimidation, do that, do that again. Let's see what they got for me here. Ooh, they got a lot of hits, look at that. Yeah, they gotta go through my five here first. But oh, the, oh, this is gonna be closer game than I thought. Okay, so I got Follower, uh, I gotta discard one of these folks. Take the heal. I'm, or should I just go for the hits? Okay, I definitely want. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the fall. Okay, let's play our turn. So Death Cult is coming out. We got um, Brolin, the Lore Weaver, and then the Prayer Beads. We have two. Um, champions, so I'm going to get health and I'm going to get money. Then the Elven Curse. Hopefully this gets us the hits we need. Yes! There it is, friends. Uh, and then just because we can, we're going to use this one here to get more health. And we should be good to go. That's going to be it for the game. Boom! Woohoo! Victory is mine. It's a lot easier playing the AI than Jeremy Howard, right? <laughs> Jeremy was great. That was so much fun. Um, friends, that's going to do it for now. Uh, let me, whoops, let me shut this down. because I've got the sound in my ears. Now I don't. Um, Gigi, thank you, Amanda. Thank you, friends, for joining me today. That has been Hero Realms Digital. Again, I want to thank our sponsor, Wise Wizard Games. Um, the, hey, Legends, hi. Thanks for joining us. We're actually at the end of the stream, but um, we're going to find someone to raid. Um, please check out Hero Realms Digital from Wise Wizard Games. Uh, there's the link in chat. Um, I love this game. I played it last night with Jeremy, and then I just played it twice here as a solo. It's it's just like the real game. It's quick. Um, it's a fun deck-building game. I highly recommend it, friends. Um, again, it's been fully funded. 
it's out there. Uh, Legend says, I have a lot of physical Hero Realms. Yes, nice. I also I have that a big adventure box with uh, Hero Realms. Have y'all played the campaign yet? I still need to play the campaign. Um, I have the co-op scenario. Yes, Legends, yes. I love the tabletop version. So do I, Magus. It's so good. Um, I love Hero Realms. I love um, Star Realms. have not played Cthulhu Realms yet. Um, I'm not really the biggest Cthulhu fan. Um, my favorite... Um, genres are like sci-fi then i do like fantasy but sci-fi will always be number one with me but i think the gameplay in this one in hero realms the fantasy version i think it's just um it's a better it's a little more in-depth uh, way more uh a lot more ways to combo and stuff and um i just i just love the way it flows um legend says i played and finished the first campaign but also got the second campaign nice i'm gonna have to start uh dive into that um, Magus, we are on the same page, friend. Yes, Star Realms as well. Love the fantasy in Hero Realms. I want to thank you all again. I This was a totally impromptu thing. I was just so hyped about this game. And, you know, uh, Wise Wizard hooked us up with the beta. Uh, again, it's not 100% finished, but it's really close. And it looks great. It plays great. And I would love it if you all checked out the campaign, which I'm dropping one more time there in chat. Um... <clears throat> Love Beeple says, does Star Realms have a campaign where only play the ga base game? There are scenarios. I don't know if there's actually a campaign in Star... I mean, they do have, like, a, there's an online thing where you can go through different missions and stuff, but I, I don't think it's, like, as story-based as the Hero Realms is. Okay, no campaign for Star Realms. Thank you, um, Legends. But I know online they have, like, a campaign where you go through different missions. Like, I think it's, like, ten missions, and you have certain goals you have to do. Um, it's a lot of fun um, online. Uh, I, I enjoy that. Um, we're going to find someone to raid, Frank, friends, <laughs> folks, folks, friends. Uh, I don't know who's on there. Um, oh, you know what? There are Evanuel. I found Evanuel recently. Uh, he is a, a, a fellow Filipino streamer. He plays board games and video games. I don't know what he's playing right now. We're going to raid him and say hello. So please uh, say hello to my friend, Evanuel. Thank you again, friends. I hope you all have a great day. Have a great weekend. I'm going to probably play Hero Realms again tomorrow with Monique. My plan right now, if it go, goes according to plan, we, things may change. But I would love to play this again with Monique, Game Freak Geek Girl, tomorrow morning before Brothers Murph do their live stream to kick off their Kickstarter. They're kicking off, I believe, at 9 a.m. tomorrow. I would live stream here with Monique at 8. So we're going to see. Hopefully that works out. Fingers crossed. Uh, but for now, let's let's raid Evanuel. Let's show show them some love. Uh, I'll have to explore the app more. I want to play. Yo, Amanda, yes, we, we need to play. Yes, I know uh, you have. I'm going to, well, uh, maybe like Monday we can do it, Amanda. We'll, I'll, we'll DM each other and figure it out. Friends, let's uh, raid Evanuel, uh, our buddy. Um, I think he's playing video games. Thank you so much for joining me. Stick around for the raid. Have a great day. Have a great weekend, great weekend, and we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.